That Kenya is the cradle of humanity is an indisputable fact. However, this statement may be contended by critics thanks to the history of conflicts that have rocked the country in the recent past. Conflicts in Kenya dates back from the colonial period and its roots has penetrated into the 43 tribes that makes up the country Kenya. But what exactly are the implications of the negative ethnicity in any given state? Dr. Mark Lederuk, the coordinator of Hello Kenya and the Peace Corps Kenya, an initiative that aims at uniting Kenyans by fighting negative ethnicity, explains. Yeah, ethnicity in itself is not a bad thing. A negative ethnicity is a problem. And so fragile is the situation that skeptics have won that the country risks plunging into the chaos if the upcoming general polls are not handled properly. <laughs> Formations such as the peaceful caravan scatters of the Hello Kenya in conjunction with the Peace Corps Kenya therefore could not have come at a better time. We are so much focusing on our ethnic backgrounds vis-a-vis -vis seeing ourselves as citizens of this great country and therefore uh, uh, nationalism is somehow uh, taking a different path and it's actually taking a negative path whereby we see ourselves more as ethnic groups vis-a-vis -vis seeing ourselves as Kenyan. Dr. Mark Lederu of the Kenya Administration Police Force narrates what befall ethnicity. Ethnic associations have, have taken uh, rise and that was also worsened by uh, political antagonism whereby you find certain people from certain uh, region feel that uh, those who come to vote in their regions do not have the right to vote and, 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 and therefore uh, politics has been a conquest of ethnic groups. The scramble for resources is seen as one of the key factors leading to the negative ethnicity in the country. Soon you will hear somebody, you know, a certain politician say, this is our land, this is our region, these are not our people, you know, uh, this is what we want, we versus them, you know, because uh, po mo most politicians have perfected the game of negative ethnicity so that they can thrive on uh, politics. He says with well, the devolution in place has brought positive and negative ethnicity in the country. I, I think um, I, I'll, I'll wish to see renaming of counties so that uh, no county should bear ethnic branding at all at all. The negative ethnicity uh, has also thrived. You know? uh, some communities uh, get jobs because they have people in power and uh, the small communities find themselves at the periphery. Dr. Larry Rook says as police force in collaboration with the Hello Kenya and, and other sectors, they are committed to providing a safe and enabling working environment for all Kenyans. Uh, we are contributing towards peace and development of this country. Uh, and uh, of late, um, you know, when we established Hello Kenyan platform, um, we launched the SMS 107 um, uh, platform. It's a shout out uh, um, SMS platform where Kenyans can tell us that uh, here I am and I have a problem. I'm seeing something that is not right. My life is threatened. I'm, I'm seeing this or I'm seeing people moving around with machetes, with, uh, you know, crude weapons. Kindly uh, intervene. Narita Rui, the Hello Kenya program's volunteer, urges Kenyans to remain peaceful before, during and after the next general elections. We are targeting the peaceful elections for 2017, but we want to preserve the peace for this nation forever. And uh, we would urge the National Police Service to carry on uh, this, this noble initiative so that we always have something to do preserving peace for this beautiful If you're a young person, I'm a young person too, and I volunteered my time to bring peace to Kenya, you need to make a change. This is your time. Take a role in our society. And I've never understood why we should treat anybody else different just because of their tribe. Political temperatures in the country continues to be on the rise with every aspirant taking his campaigns to his major centers. But the question that continues to linger into the minds of the Kenyans is whether the election will be carried in a transparent manner. Reporting for Ebru TV, I'm Jeff Haimba.